Hello, Michael Talbot Kelly here. Thank you for joining me. I want to talk to you today about your deeper why. We are very succinctly and accurately aimed at something, a meaningful need, an ultimate concern. Einstein towards science, Joan of Arc towards the battlefield, uh, Wayne Gretzky towards the hockey rank. You get the picture. We all have something to contribute, an ultimate concern that we have talents and resources and abilities for. In fact, we have a resources that we, we can't even imagine until we get started and start working in the field. So we need to get clear about what it is that we're, we want in our life, in the area of with, our, with ourselves, with others, and also in terms of work. There's a meaningful need in terms of work, but there's also a meaningful need in terms of relationships. There's a meaningful need in terms of self. Let me explain. At the end of our lives, and we don't know when that is, none of us do, okay, maybe a few, but that's a small few, we're going to ask some very deep questions. I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of dying people, and they all ask the same thing. Did my life have meaning? Did I contribute something? Did I make a difference? Did I love? Did I, did I, did I live fully? And those are the questions that are going to, you're going to be, no matter what tradition, no matter what part of the world you're from, no matter where you, you're located in terms of you know, your, your philosophy or you feeling like there's an outside God or an inside God or there's a universal intelligence just operational in nature and that's just a bio, bio, biological thing or a scientific thing, you're still going to ask yourself the same questions. Did I live fully? Did I love wholeheartedly? Did I contribute greatly? And greatly is exactly the word. Not that you're going to be great, because who knows, but you need to feel every day, starting today, that this is your time, that you need to start now making a difference by smiling, by deciding that you're going to examine, well, what is it that I really want for myself, for others and in my work area? What is, what is my ultimate concern? What would my relationship give me if I was really able to have that feeling of connection and intimacy and and relational presence, what would that then give me? If that would give you lo un loving unafraid, then that's really what you want, then you need to step into that today. So our purpose is aimed towards a meaningful and purposeful life that is about fulfillment. It's a life of, of vitality, intimacy, and prosperity. And when you're aimed, your deeper why is, with, is, is in alignment with that, you can't help but smile and you can't help bring all sorts of other essential qualities like fierce gentleness, like peace, like joy. So my challenge to you today is to start thinking about your ultimate concern. If it wasn't science or the battlefield or the hockey rink, what is it? Is it the environment? Which part of the environment? Is it, is it, is it the flowers? Is it, is it the animals? Is it the planets? Is it people? Is it conflict? Is it conflict resolution? We've, we've grown up with an ultimate concern built into us, genetically coded and at a soul level coded too for us to be able to thrive in a particular and succinct and accurate direction. My challenge for you is to build the vision board of what it is that you really want and ask yourself why is that so important? and then decide that that why is something you have to mobilize today, the, the day after, and, and start to lean in with your courageous self to bringing that beauty and that ultimate concern to some sort of resolution, some sort of healing, transformation, some sort of upgrade. So that's one way of doing it. The other, thing, the other way that you can access your deeper why is to ask yourself, why is this life that you're living so important? And what does that then give you? And why is that important? And what does that then give you? And why is that important? And what does that then give you? And why is it? 10X your why people, lean into your relationships, give the relationships at home today the full acknowledgement and love and the essential qualities of you recognizing that you are going to contribute to that meaningful need of family, being heard, being seen, being blessed. That's already a start. So your vision board, asking your why, your 10 xing your why, what is important and why is that important, what is that, and why, what is that and why is that important, and then also going home to your family today and really seeing them.
acknowledging them. Tell me your story, sweetie. Tell me how your day went. Fully present. Those essential qualities are start mustering up right away when you feel that you're on purpose. You might as well claim that you're on purpose starting today and move out into the world. See you on the other side.